Hi guys, this is Blanca Lopez with Keynotes Review and in this video we are going to talk about, we're going to discuss the songs that I put in my playlist called Can't Get Out of My Head. Literally, you will not be able to get these songs out of your head. Um, so yeah, we're going to start. Twenty minutes later. So for this video, I decided to do the reasons behind why I chose the songs that I chose for my playlist called Can't Get Out of My Head. Literally, these songs are like, I have like a love and hate relationship with, love and hate relationship with these songs. Because it's not like that I really like them, it's more like I can't get them out of my head. Like, they went viral for um, some time. So I'm pretty sure you guys can rec will recognize some of these songs. But, um, alright, let's start with my playlist. So if you go to our website, I don't know if you can see it. So it's called Kino's Review. So, right there, then you would go to Playlist. Click on Playlist. And then, you would see, for your listening pleasures, we compose our top picks. So, we have 80s and 90s, whatever. And this is from, like, different people. Um, I made this one. Blanca's Top Latin Hits, and the one we're going to discuss today is called Blanca's uh, Can't Get Out of My Head Hits. Well, it's not Can't Get Out of My Head Hits. Yes, Blanca's Can't Get Out of My Head. That's what my playlist is called. Okay, so in this playlist, we have uh, 15 songs that I personally selected, but since 15 is a little bit too much for this video, we're going to start with the 10. So I wouldn't say top 10, but just, you know, that's just the order that it went. So in number 10, we have this song that I'm pretty sure many of you guys know by heart. It, I think this song, I first heard it when like I was in high school. I think that's when it came. Um, and it's very catchy, I will say. So uh, please forgive me if I, you know, remind you of the song and now you're not, you're not going to be able to concentrate for your finals. Please forgive me. Uh, so yeah, it's by Carly Rae Jepsen. You already know what song is coming up. And it's Call Me Maybe. So let's hear it a little bit. Because you do my throat right now. So the reason why I chose this song was because I saw, I did a little search, and it was like one of the top songs of that year. So that's the reason why I chose it. And also, it just reminds, it just has like a throwback back to high school, you know? So I was like, you know, I feel like, you know, this is a good song to put in, put in the Can't Get Out of My Head playlist. Um, and then the next song, oh, I love this song. Um, so I'm originally from Mexico, and the reason why I chose this song was because when I moved from Mexico to the States, I don't know, I just thought I was going to Barbie land, the Barbie world, you know, Disneyland. I just thought that was the U.S. So I was like, I don't know. I heard this song and I was like, yes, that's me. I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. Clearly, I didn't know what the lyrics were behind the song. I don't know if anyone knows. But um, yeah, this song is called Barbie Girl and I put it in number nine. And it's by Aqua. So let's hear a little bit about it. It's very catchy too. Can we also just say that all these songs that I'm about to put are karaoke friendly? Um, but yeah, but you wouldn't want me in your karaoke because I can't sing. Um, so yeah. And that song came, oh boy, that song is old. I think that one came in 1997. I'm not even lying because mm -mm -mm, that song is pretty old. So let's, let's just double check, you know, Barbie girl. Um, yeah, it came in 1997, Artist Aqua and the album Aquarium. So if you really want to check this out, check it out. I know, I am pretty sure. I know for a fact everyone knows this song. It's called Macarena. Okay, I'm a little hater, honestly. I was like, should I put this song? Everyone seems to like it. I like it, but I kind of don't because I don't know how to dance to it you know uh, I just get so subtle with this whole thing like I, I'm like Ugh, what do I do so yeah I'm a little hater but I was like you know what I'll put it there 
Um, so this one is Macarena by Los del Rio. And from, oh, and the, it's from the album Fiesta Macarena. Um, but yes, so let's listen to the song. Although I don't know how to dance to it, but I'm pretty sure you guys do. All right, I guess we didn't hear the chorus, but hey, Macarena, whatever. Um, but, you know, you can do that on your own time. But anyway, so this song is also pretty old because, like, boy, the song been around some ages. Macarena. Yeah, 1996. Wow. Even before I was born, this thing already existed. Um, so, yes, and this comes from the album Fiesta Macarena from Los del Rio. So, if you want to check that song, check it out. And, again, this is very karaoke friendly. So, you know what? I feel like I should have named this playlist karaoke top hits or something. But, let's just say, can't get out of my head. Um, the next one, oh, oh my, I love this song, this is my jam. Okay, so this song, I first heard it in White Chicks. Yes, I heard it in White Chicks. Um, I love that movie too, but, um, it's just, it just gets you in that mood with that, I get my way down, you know, like, in that mood that you're like, let me whip my hair, but, yeah, so, let's listen to it, I love this song, and I, I never knew who this girl was before until I just heard this song. So thank you, White Chicks, for introducing me to this great song that now puts me in a great mood. Y'all ready for this? See, I, I get so into the song. Anyway, so yeah, so this song is called A Thousand Miles by Vanessa Carlton. And as I said, this song came in White Chicks. I don't know where you guys heard the song, but I'm pretty sure most of us heard it there. So our next song is, okay, so this song honestly was so, an, a little bit annoying. I want to I wanna say so annoying, but just a little bit annoying because everyone was doing this challenge. It was kind of like the Kiki challenge, you know, back in those days. You know, it gets like, oh yeah, it's fun for some while. And then it gets a little old and you're like, but anyway, so this song is, um, I don't know how to pronounce this name, B-A-A-U-E-R. Bar? Ba? Ba? I, I'm so sorry, I don't know how to pronounce it. I am going to spell it out here. Um, and this song is, you guys already know it. Everyone would go crazy. It would be like the typical, everyone is in the office, and then all, and then all of a sudden, everyone goes crazy. Okay, y'all ready for this? Yeah, it didn't say anything. I don't know what the lyrics were about. I guess that wasn't important in the song. And this one is um, Harlem Shake, in case you guys forgot about that challenge. Okay, this next song is a recent song. And literally, you would hear it every day on the radio. I wasn't mad, you know. I like it that, you know, that um, Latin music was coming. You know, was it, you know, you would hear it on, like, normal American radio so i was like okay okay i'll see you but um so yeah so this song and justin bieber sent it and so you, you probably already know what song, song i'm talking about but this one was like i think it was like yeah i think it was like the number one song or video on youtube honestly but you know what let's double check that let's see most popular video on youtube ever yes that was one of the most popular it was definitely one of the 15 <clears throat> most viewed youtube videos of all time and it was despacito by luis fonsi featuring daddy yankee and justin bieber in this occasion so um let's see let's hear it <laughs> Okay, obviously the chorus did not come come up, which I was a little disappointed. I was so rude to say 
the Despacito version, but it's okay. It's okay. Um, okay, so yeah, that was number, that was number five. And number six, we have, oh, I'm sorry. And number four, we have this song, which was, oh my goodness, I think this one was also one of the viral ones. I wasn't mad about this one, but it was also kind of like, you know, nothing much into it. Just basically hashtag selfie, hashtag let me take a selfie, hashtag everything. So yeah, this one is by the Chainsmokers, hashtag selfie. Okay, well at least it puts you in a good mood, you know, that club vibe, you know, if you're doing your makeup, you know, you can be that like, let me take a selfie, whatever, you know, okay, well, it does something for you and it, and it will be there, it will, you know, you, you're like, nah, I'm okay, I don't think that song will, you know, catch up to me, yeah, it will. Oh my goodness, this song, I put it here, The it's called The Fox, or what? See, I can't even say what did what did the fox say without singing it. Um, so this one is by Elvis. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so yeah, so this song I put it here one because it was as I said they're very catchy. You can't get them out of your head as the playlist said, and also because I don't know it was just it went viral too. You know, I was like okay, I have to put it there, and it's one of those songs that you they. They don't also don't have, I don't feel like the lyrics have like a lot of meaning, but they kind of do. I don't know. It's kind of like, what am I even singing? But it's like, but I'm singing. Anyway, so let's hear it. Oh, really? Okay, no, I can't. Do, oh, mm -mm. I am not gonna leave you guys like that. Interesting. Okay, I am pretty sure no fox ever says that, but okay, you know what? Your song worked. It has m millions of views. So you do you. All right, let's go to the next song. Um, this one is number two, and this one is Gangnam Style by PSY. Oh my God, we also heard this one so many times. It also went viral. One of the top fifteen most viewed most viewed YouTube videos ever. So yeah, um, I'm also a little hater because I never knew how to you know dance this, but it's okay. Um, so yeah, so let's hear some seconds of it. You know what, I love how I try to sing to this. Like if I know what they're, what is it about? Like if I know what they're saying, like if I know how you say it. But, but I tried, you know, I guess that's how people do it with this pasito. I don't know. But I, I, I feel the struggle. All right, the next song, oh my goodness, guys, this song, please don't judge me, but this is by far my favorite song. Like, I love this song. I, I really do. Why? Because I was like, why is this, why, why is this song so popular? Like, I saw this video on Facebook, I think, and it was like, this baby was crying, and then all of a sudden, they, they just turn on the TV and put this song on, song on. And the baby was just so quiet, so, you know, dancing and laughing like cute little babies and not crying, you know. And I was like, what? So I was like, if it works on a crying baby, I'm pretty sure it will make miracles on me, you know, because I'm not a baby. I can't control myself. So this next song is called Baby Shark, and it's one of my favorite songs because if you're ever stressed, just play it, girl. Play it loud. Don't worry if you're judged because it's going to help you. You ready? And that's enough. Well, thank you so much guys for watching this video and please remember to visit our blog as well as to listen to all of our playlists that we made with so much love for you guys. So please make sure to do that. Thank you.